Hello and welcome everyone to this Power BI video. I'm Shumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic filter using parameters in Power BI Desktop. For this video I'm using a simple data set that shows the cost and profit information across various regions, product categories and suppliers. I've already created a simple report using Power BI Desktop that contains four card visuals showing the profit generated by each product category, a stacked bar chart that shows the cost incurred by each product category, and finally there's a visual that plots all the suppliers on the map as bubbles where the bubble size and the colors are controlled by the profit margin. There's also an interaction happening here between the bar chart and the map visual. So when I click on the bars, it filters the map visual to show only those suppliers who sold the products of the selected category. When I run this report, it automatically loads up all the data available in the dataset, including all the regions. However, I want to configure the report in a way that when I run it, it should pop up with a list of regions to choose from. And as I make my region selection, the data should load up only for those regions that I've selected. As you can guess, this would help the data load to be faster. Moreover, I'll be able to view the analysis only for the regions of my choice. So let's start building the solution we've been talking about. The first thing I need to do is to navigate to the Edit Query screen which appears under the Home menu. Now I need to create a unique list of regions that will appear as options to choose from when the report runs. For this, I'll right click on the region column header and select add as a new query. This would create a separate table that contains only the list of regions in it. Please notice that the system has created a list query here, which is different than other queries. Have a look at the icon over here. Now we still don't have unique list of values on our list query. So right click on the column header again and choose remove duplicates. Now that we have a unique list of regions, let's store this list in form of a parameter. Now storing this as a parameter is very important, otherwise you won't be able to configure the region to pop up before loading the report data. To create a new parameter, navigate to the home menu and select manage parameters. In the manage parameters screen, click on new. Type an appropriate name for the parameter and then enter a description that you'd like the users to see when they run the report. Keep the required checkbox checked as we don't want the users to be able to bypass the region selection. You can keep the type as any, from the list of suggested values choose query and this would bring up the list of available queries in the system. Right now there is just one, that's the one that we just created, so select that one. You also need to enter a default value for this parameter, so let me enter south here. Click on OK to save the parameter. This creates the parameter that we were talking about. The next thing we need to do is to apply a parameterized filter on the supplier overview table so that the data loads only for the selected region. To do this, click on the arrow icon next to the region column header, go to the text filters and then select equals. Change the filter type from text to parameter and then select the parameter we just created. Click on OK to apply the filter. Now click on Close and Apply on the Edit Query screen and let the model get updated. The last thing we need to do is to make this filter selection pop out to the users when they run this report. To do this, go to the File menu and click on Save As. Now save the report with an appropriate name and change the type to Power BI template files. Please note that normal Power BI desktop files with a PBIX extension cannot create this region selection pop-up. For the region selection to pop out at runtime, you need to save this as a Power BI template file which has a PBIT extension. Now if I run this template file, you'll see that the system is coming up with this list of regions to choose from, which is a part of the parameter we created. And here's the description you entered while creating the parameter. So let me choose central and click on load. Now the report shows me the product analysis only for the selected region. 
Similarly, if I run the template file again, and this time I choose South as the region, the data loads up only for the South region. So this is how you can create a dynamic parameterized filter using Power BI Desktop. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.